Hey, this is Ralph. Let's keep working on this horizontal nav menu with a drop down effect. So ultimately our goal is to have something kind of like this and we're getting there step by step. What we're doing, what we're focused on right now is that little baby triangle right there at the top of the uh, sub menu that kind of points to the main menu item. At the end of the last video, I just stuck in this little diamond character. It's so tough to see, but let's see if we can't work on that one. So in the uh, HTML, I stuck within a span inside of the sub menu a little entity that will produce a diamond shape. And if we position that right and color it right, it'll look like a little triangle. So this is a span within my sub menu. So I'm going to head up to my styling here, unordered list, sub menu, and then I can do the direct child span within it. And to, to style this, I'm going to do position absolute. Now I mentioned in another video, whenever you position absolutely, it's good that it's inside of a position container. Fortunately, our dot sub menu is already positioned absolute for its location. So nothing uh, I need to add there. So I'm going to position absolute. And when I position absolute, I always like to start with a top of zero pixels and a left of zero pixels and adjust it from there. So that this thing's a little bit bigger, I'm going to go ahead and set the font size for it. And I'm not sure what a good size is, so I'll start off with 30 pixels to see how that looks. And so it really jumps out at us in the short term. I'll go ahead and set the color to be um, uh, just do black. Control S to save, browser refresh, and let's look at it. Okay, so we can kind of see where things are going. Now I can see once I start positioning this black triangle, it's really going to start to impact with the first um, list items, the first anchors within my sub menu. So I think I'm going to enhance a little bit of padding. So on my sub menu, I'm going to try this. I'll do a little padding, and I'm going to start with 20 pixels on the top, 0 on the right, 20 pixels on the bottom, and 0 on the left. And that's going to give me a little bit more room to play around with moving that triangle. So now I can start to play around with it. And it's position absolute. For the top, I want to start moving it upward. And if I want to move it upward, then I'm going to need some negative numbers. So I'll, st I'll start off with negative 20 pixels. And I'm trying to get this little triangle. In fact, that's probably not a bad spot there. I can move it up a little bit higher. Um, you can see. Because remember, once this is the same color, the person's only going to notice the part that's sticking out a little bit. And I'm going to change that color to red so it stands out a little bit more. So even if I did a negative 22 pixels, that would be OK. I definitely don't want it to be so high where a person starts to see that it's not truly a triangle. So I can dial that back a little bit and just split the difference at 21. Pretty happy with that. And I'm going to move it over a little bit from the left. I'll just try 15 pixels. Seems pretty good. And now if I change the color from red to yellow green, which is the same background color as my unordered list, that little uh, diamond turns into a little triangle or a little arrow pointed right at the top. So yeah, I am pretty content with that. So once we start to get a feel and we're pretty satisfied with this, let me get rid of some of those red borders, which are pretty distracting. And I also need to get rid of some of those white borders. There they are, or white outlines. That's pretty distracting. And so now I can start to appreciate that, OK, there's my submenu. The next thing I'd like to work on is having this submenu appear when a person hovers over hovers over the um, main menu item. Now, the, probably the fastest, simplest way to do something like that is simply to say, OK, well, my submenu is going to be display block. And oh, I'm sorry, display none. It is already a block. And now that submenu is gone. But I want it to reappear when I hover over that menu item. So next thought is, well, I'm already hovering over the main menu item. So I could uh, go ahead and do something similar. Nav unordered list child li anchor hover as a pseudo class, and then I can say the uh, the dot submenu, which is 
in there. However, my submenu is not a descendant of the anchor. If you recall from the uh, element here, my submenu is adjacent to my anchor. So it's not inside, so that actually wouldn't work for me. So instead, I'm going to have to put a little plus there, an adjacent selector. Save that, or actually not save it yet. I need to put in here, I'll put in um, display block. So I'm taking that submenu that was set to display none, and when I hover over the anchor, the adjacent submenu will display block. Save that browser refresh, and I start to get a pretty satisfactory result. However, watch what happens here when I start to mouse down slowly. See? I am no longer hovering over that anchor, and I lose that menu. There's a couple little fixes we're going to need here. The trick is, I'm not worried about hovering over the anchor. Instead, I'm going to hover over the list item. So when I hover over the list item, the submenu that it's part of. In fact, I don't even need this. I can just do the submenu that's now a descendant. The submenu is a descendant of the main list item. Control S to save, browser refresh. Now when I hover over item 2, I can move downward and get into that main menu there. Now sometimes when you're first constructing these, these won't work as well. And the reason it is working is a little bit hard to notice why. But if I did have my outlines back on, so for instance if I did have outline 2 pixels solid red for there, and then my submenu, I also had an outline 2 pixels solid red. I'll do red as well. What is helping here is if you notice my submenu border is just over my main menu list item border, which is what I'm hovering on. So basically there's never a time when I'm hovering in the wrong spot. I'll exaggerate what the problem could be here. For instance, if my submenu was not 58 from the top, but exactly, let's say, 63 from the top. There we go. So it's so close, but it's just not close enough. So just that little gap, it's hard to see. But if I move down slowly, there is a point where those two items do not touch, and I lose that submenu. So the key to this working is that my submenu is touching, basically. It could have been a little bit further away, but it's touching that main menu item. So that's what's, what we're doing to get that to work. Those outlines aren't necessary right now, so I can just get rid of those. And everything is looking pretty good at this stage of the game.